Welcome. Let's take a look at finding the derivative of a couple of functions that are logarithmic and require the use of the chain rule. So our first function is f of x equals the natural log of x squared minus 4x. Notice that the argument or the inside of the natural log function is x squared minus 4x. Because this is more than just a single x, we will need to be using the chain rule. So when we apply the rule for finding the derivative of the natural log function, which would have us do 1 over the argument, we will then be multiplying by the derivative of that argument. So let's go ahead and take a look. So f prime of x is going to equal, and keeping in mind that the derivative of the natural log function is 1 over x, or 1 over the argument, we're going to end up with 1 over our argument times the derivative of that argument. In this case, our argument is x squared minus 4x, and x squared minus 4x. Now let's go ahead and find that derivative of that argument. So we'll have 1 over x squared minus 4x times, and now my argument is x squared minus 4x. Its derivative of, will be 2x minus 4. So the derivative of our first function here is 2x minus 4 over x squared minus 4x. Taking a look at our second function here, we have log base 2 of x squared, I'm sorry, x to the fourth plus 3x. Now notice this time we do not have the natural log. We have a logarithm base 2. So when we find our derivative, we will need to use the formula for log base b of x. So in this case, the base of the logarithm is 2. So we will have 1 over the natural log of 2 times the argument. In this case, our argument is more than simply x. So we will be using the chain rule to help us find this derivative. So let's go ahead and get started. So f prime of x is going to equal 1 over, and again, we're using the rule for the derivative with respect to um, x in a different base, in this case 2. So we will have the natural log of 2, because 2 is our base, times our argument multiplied by the derivative of that argument. So f prime of x is going to be 1 over the natural log of 2. Our argument in this case was x to the fourth plus 3x times x to the fourth plus 3x prime. Our derivative is f prime of x equals 1 over the natural log of 2 times x to the fourth plus 3x times, and now the derivative of x to the fourth plus 3x is going to be 4x cubed plus 3. So we end up with a derivative, f prime of x, being 4x cubed plus 3 all over the natural log of 2 times x to the fourth plus 3x. I hope you find this helpful.